We're here with Red Sox legend Pedro Martinez. Pedro, thanks so much for being here. Oh, thank you for having me. I'm, 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 I mean, being here with such a hottie away from my wife, it's always <laughs> party, welcome. Party. You know? yeah. We love your wife. She actually came in here for an interview, so uh, we're not going to go with you on that one. Uh, she's pretty <laughs> fun. <laughs> um, you have your annual charity gala coming up this Friday along with your wife, Carolina. You've been giving back to various causes for years. Now, this one specifically, the proceeds that you get from this one will be going to hurricane relief efforts in the U.S. and the Caribbean. Why this cause? Well, because uh, we, we actually sense that the damage that there is in between Puerto Rico, the north part of the Dominican Republic, and and you know Latin America in general, it's um, it's worth you know flexing of, of your muscles and 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 joining the different forces that are trying to help, and especially Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico needs a lot of help. Uh, we have we have been uh, we have been victims of some of those hurricanes and stuff, and we know what it takes. We know what it's like. So we felt like at this at this time, our boys in Puerto Rico, Carlos Beltran. Delgado, Correa, and those guys are going to need more help than they can probably give. So it's time for us to flex muscles and go over there to, to try to help and also help a little bit in the Dominican where the north part of the Dominican got hit and uh, the seas came in and damaged some of the houses and stuff. So we're, we're going to really focus into that and, and hopefully bring some more help, you know. So you got some big names flexing their muscles this Friday. Guys like Big Poppy. Who else can we look forward to seeing? Uh, well, we, we're going to have Martinez from San Luis. We have Severino. We have Vladimir Guerrero. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Uh, Eduardo Nunez. We have geez, so many. It's a lot of yeah, them, but there's a lot a of them. That's a pretty good list right there. Severino I mean, from the Yankees is coming over. You have current stars, former stars, Red Sox players, Yankees, yeah. uniting under one roof for a good cause. Now, how did you get this together, and do you have to seat people? Do you have to be careful where you put the Red Sox <laughs> players and the Yankees players? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> we don't want a fight to break out at your charity. No, event. but that's it. This, this is the funny thing. Everybody's just flexing their muscles to try to help. Uh, the people that are really needed in Puerto Rico. At this time, we're all one heart, we're all one force, and, and we're all doing what we're supposed to do. Uh, and not only that, by having Big Papi over there, having guys like Vladdy, gives those young players, Cano, Robinson Cano is coming over. Uh, I think Johnny Cueto is coming over. A, a lot of those, those stars are coming over. But not only we, we show them how to, how to join forces at the time people needed, but we also cement a legacy for them to copy. I think they, they, they start looking at us as a role model and why we, we do it. Uh, we also teach them the commitment with, 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 with the society, with the people and, and community. I think the community part, uh, some of those young players don't realize that it's part of the package that comes with being a, a baseball player and a superstar. Well, there's a lot of excitement surrounding this young Red Sox roster. Now, you have some of those current players coming to the gala. I yeah. imagine they come up to you, they ask for advice as someone who's been there before. What are you telling these guys about the season that they just had and where they go from here? That they should be proud of whatever they, they achieved, uh, regardless of you know not having that much success in the postseason, is going to come. They are that good. At, 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 that, at the same age, I probably wasn't even smelling a, a, you know, a, a postseason. And, and they have been able to pull it off in such a young age and, and such a short period of time. And, and uh, that they can always look forward to next year. Uh, we're going to try to supply the help they need. I know they were lacking the little bit of help that the old goat David Ortiz could supply with that bat. <laughs> but uh, they're going to be OK. And, and this is only a learning process for them. And I think they're going to be all right. Uh, when the time comes. It's great having you here talk about Boston. It's great having you in Boston. What is it like coming back to the city? Oh, so it's a continuation of my parade. <laughs> <laughs> Ever since so far, everything has been fun. We have won a few championships after that, and uh, the city of Boston seems to be in place to continue to have success, and so is the Red Sox. Uh, we are a very young team already in the postseason, already Eastern Division champions. Uh, Mookie Betts and those guys are only going to get better. Uh, Benny Tendi, uh, 
uh, Bogers and those guys, they, they, they have still a big gap to, to actually fulfill in, in their career. And, and, and to have success, I mean, at such a young age, can only tell us that whenever they get really mature, they're going to be better. So we have a bright future in front of us. Well, the Red Sox might not be in it, but this is a heck of a World Series going on. Game seven tonight. Can we ask for your prediction? Well, hard to, hard to predict, but the momentum is with the Dodgers. Uh, even though I don't see Houston going away that easy, Houston has a lot to, to gain and very little to lose. This is a young team that wasn't expected to be there. Uh, at least for the, you know, the age average that you have in the team. Uh, and they are right there. They're really close to winning it. Uh, and I hope they do, if they do. But uh, uh, right now the momentum seems to be shifting towards the Dodgers. Well, we will see what happens. Now you can get tickets for the Scala at PedroMartinezCharity.com. So make sure you head there right now before they sell out. Anything you want to tell the people to get them to buy those tickets? Uh, well, they, 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 all they have to do is just look at the position that the other people are in Puerto Rico and those places where they really, really need. I've never seen Puerto Rico like this. Never, never in my life. In so many years, traveling to Puerto Rico is really close to the Dominican. And I, not even in the Dominican, I've seen so much devastation. So it's really worth the cost. And, and I think if people, like I know Boston is sensitive to, to others and, and, um, and they join hearts with me, I think that they, they will be doing it for, for a great cost. And so they should go get them and try to help out as much as they can because it's worth it. You heard the man, Pedro Martinez. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>